Democrats have eventually done is to try and do that. So do you, you think Democrats are setting themselves up for another 2016 surprise and crushing defeat? Not crushing defeat, but I think it's going to be closer. And what that's going to allow Trump to do is to throw as much sand in the wheels as possible to start with claims about fraud and falsification. Perhaps you got a couple of states on his side that refuse to send their electors to the Electoral College or certify results, and the whole thing ends up in the Supreme Court. I actually expect the whole thing to end up in the Supreme Court. A Trump-dominated Supreme Court, or certainly influenced, if not dominated. Or at least conservative. But again, what do we mean by this? I always like to point out to my American friends that the Warren Court was an exception and a fleeting one. The, Trump, the, the court is a conservative institution. That's what it does. And despite that, think about all of the things that it has passed and allowed to pass. Yes, there's been egregious examples on campaign finance and other examples that we could say that, well, that's the action of the conservative court favoring one party. But the, just last week, the actually a few days ago, the Pennsylvania got was told, no, you can't basically interfere with ballots in this way. So it's not clear to me that if it ends up there, that's the slam dunk for Trump. But that may be his last, that may be his Haley, Hail Mary pass, even if it's not a slam dunk, if I may mix my American sporting metaphors. Exactly. 